If you have a group in Microsoft Teams, there's a good chance that there might be times when you want to email everybody within that team. And there is a way that we can do that. It's not intuitive. It's not built right into Teams, but I'll show you a trick of how we can go in and send a group email to the people that are on our team. Now there is one gotcha when we use this methodology and I'll let you know about that at the end. But meanwhile, let's go have a look at how we can email everybody on our Microsoft team. Teams is a great collaborative platform and ideally everybody should be checking in on Teams, setting up the application on their mobile devices, receiving notifications of any activity happening within the team environment. But we all know that sometimes people are more familiar with email and we want to be able to send an email to all the group members of my team. Now, if I go into this team, Frank's Amazing Classroom, and I go and look at the team, I've got some members on this team. I've got all these folks here. Why can't I just send them an email? Why can't I just say, everybody on the team, receive an email? Notice there's no option for me to select that here. But what I can do is a bit of a workaround. If I go into a channel, it doesn't matter which channel I'm in, if you go up to the ellipse in the top corner here, you'll notice that there is a way for me to email to the team, not the members of the team, but the team itself. So the team itself has an inbound email address and here's where I can find that address. I do remember a long time ago, actually a couple years ago, when you clicked on the button, send email, it actually sent an email out to the members of the team, but for some reason it now sends email into the team. What's up with that? But it doesn't matter. What I can do is work around this. If I open in SharePoint, the underlying SharePoint site for the team has the ability to look at documents and different aspects of the team. And I have some videos on the channel of how to customize it, but there's the conversations tab. And underneath conversations, what I can do is I can go in and you'll notice that I have a send email option. So when I use send email here, it will actually use an address for everybody on the team. It's a group address. So if I go in here and say something like, uh, you know, let's go to the movies, something exciting like that, and some sort of you know, text in there, I'll just put some garbage text in there. When I send this email, it's going to send that email to everybody on the team. So if I have somebody like Bruce Wayne logs in, notice he gets the email. And if I have somebody like Clark logging in, so Clark Kent logs in, he gets the email as well. So that's a way that I can send an email to everybody who's a member of my team. I have to go to that underlying SharePoint site and use conversations. Now, of course, what else I could do is I could then use that underlying site and save the address. That's a group address for the team and then use that in my email client. But the first time I do it, if I just go to the SharePoint site, I can see or send an email to everybody on the team. So you saw that was pretty handy, but the gotcha that I was talking about at the beginning of this video is that it won't work with guests in the team. These all have to be people that are part of your organization. So if you have a team that has a lot of guests in there, you need to be aware of that and you might just want to make a manual distribution list in your, in your email for them. However, it is great if you're working with internal teams that you can go in and you can find that group email address, which you can then use again and again, or you can go back and use the method I just showed you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos on how we can use technology to teach and learn better.